All right, welcome back to the channel. We've got a lot to cover today in the world of Tesla. We've got things like full self-driving getting another major price cut, uh, the Cybertruck recall and update to what actually is happening with that. The referral program is ending officially and the ludicrous Model 3 is right around the corner. Let's get into it. Again, remember, if you're new here and you like the video, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that thumbs up button so more people can follow it, especially if you are into the world of Tesla and electric vehicles and want to stay updated, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel. Let's get started with the Cybertruck recall. So a couple weeks ago, a Cybertruck owner tweeted about uh, a issue that he had. You see, if you have a Tesla and you look down at the accelerator pedal, you'll notice that it's just one metal piece. There's no moving parts to it and you press it down to go and so forth. And you'll notice that in all of the other vehicles, at least on my Model 3 and Model Y, uh, the pedal is hinged at the top. So you press it down like so. Um, in the Cybertruck and in actually every performance uh, level vehicle, there's actually a metal um, kind of stainless steel looking performance look to the pedal. And that's done by a piece that goes over the existing metal pedal. Uh, that piece is actually really hard to get on, but it is a piece that can be removed and put on. And so uh, that piece in this example, so the Cybertruck is hinged at the bottom, not at the top for the accelerator pedal. So you press it down like so. You've got this uh, metal plate on it. And so this owner experienced upon uh, accelerating the pressure that his foot was putting, pushed the cover, the pedal cover off and unfortunately, the way the Cybertruck down below is designed is there is a break in the floorboard where the carpets and that pedal got hinged in there, thus keeping the pedal down, full throttle, uh, extremely dangerous and not safe. Now, just for those of you that don't know, in the Tesla vehicles, the brake pedal overrides the accelerator pedal. So if this should happen, you can press the brake and bring the car to a stop and put it in park and you're good to go. But it is a safety hazard and so Tesla recognized that they actually stopped deliveries uh, for about a week or so. I should know my buddy was about to take delivery and they told him stand by and wait. Um, and so yesterday, officially Saturday 420, Tesla actually came up with a fix for this recall. Um, you do have to bring in your Cybertruck, but the fix is a, a bolt, a rivet, a some sort of screw nut system. Um, so they affix a little guidance tool. Um, they literally screw in this bolt that holds the plate onto the pedal, thus it will not slide forward. And, and that's it. Simple, cheap, quick, easy. Um, yeah, I mean, it solves the problem, but I'm curious, what do you think? You think this was a good enough fix for this problem? Let me know down in the comments down below. Now, on to full self-driving. We talked about full self-driving in a video uh, previously. I'll put a link to that up above. Now, in that video, we talked about full self-driving's monthly subscription, going from $200 a month down to $100 a month. What a great value. It would take you 10 years to make up that $12,000 purchase price of full self-driving. Well, it is now no longer $12,000. That's right. Full self-driving as of yesterday has dropped to $8,000. That's a significant price cut. Not only that, but the option for enhanced autopilot for $5,000 is no longer an option. So every Tesla comes with autopilot or you can upgrade a full self-driving for $8,000. Now, the cool thing about this is this is very um, similar to what happened when I got my 2018 Model 3. I bought Enhanced Autopilot for $5,000. Later, I got a, I guess you could call a fire sale for $2,000 for full self-driving. And that's exactly what's happening now. If you have Enhanced Autopilot today, you can now purchase full self-driving for $2,000. Amazing, great deal. If you don't, some full self-driving costs eight grand, which is way better than 12,000. But I feel for those that just may have paid $12,000 a month or two months ago that are now really kicking themselves. I mean, it just further really muddies the water when it comes to resale price and the value of our Tesla vehicles just seems to be all over the place. Curious, what do you think about this price cut? I mean, I think it's great for adoption of full self-driving, but really sucks for value and resale. I mean, I'm not in it to resell Teslas. I enjoy my car and I love my car and I love everything about it. And so I'm enjoying it. Um, if I were to look at value of my vehicle, yeah, it's, really not worth anything uh, close to what I originally paid for back in 2018 for 60 grand. Um, what it's worth today is probably 20, 25K. So 
yeah, curious to know what you think about that. Now, I previously talked about the ludicrous Model 3 that's just upon the horizon. Well, seems like some rumors are rumbling that we should see a release on Tuesday. Now, that is uh, April 23rd. So those of you who thought 420, haha, no, it's not coming out. On, wasn't didn't come out yesterday, Saturday 420. Um, it is coming out on the 23rd Tuesday. So stay tuned for your configurator to look for that and order it and um, on the topic of ordering, let's talk about the referral program. So the referral program, if you don't know, if you own a Tesla, you get a referral code to share with your friends and family and anyone that you like. Mine has always been in the description down below. So if you're looking at buying a Tesla, please appreciate if you use my referral code. Now, if you use a referral code, uh, it gives the referrer some bonuses and it gives the buyer some bonuses. Today, those bonuses are the buyer gets full self-driving for three months and the referrer gets about 7,000 credits. And those credits can be used for like merchandise and perks and so forth. And that's really cool. However, the referral program will be ending on April 30th. And so that doesn't mean that the points that you've earned are gonna go away. Those will still be in there and those will have their own expiration date. But it means that after the 30th, the referral program will be on pause. We thought it was gonna be canceled, but it's not. Elon did say after a couple months, it will be revamped. So curious to know what it'll look like after. Curious to know what you think it'll look like after. Leave that down in the comments down below, but we'll see. I have always liked the referral program. I get it. I don't think Tesla really needs this anymore. They sell cars like it's water, uh, but it's just always nice to have these perks that are not always available to everyone. Um, you know, some special enhancements or experiences or gear or merchandise that can't normally be bought by anyone um, for their longtime loyal customers and fan base. Um, so I've always liked the referral program. Curious to know what it's going to look like when it returns. But if you're looking at buying a vehicle before the end of the month, make sure you're using a referral code. If you don't have one, mine is down below in the description. But that's all for <laughs> the week in news on Tesla. Just a bunch of things that I thought I wanted to come out here and let you guys know. Let me know if I missed anything. Leave them down in the comments down below. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Now, other than that, we'll stay tuned. We'll see what Tuesday holds for the ludicrous Model 3. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.